You have lobular breast cancer. That's a statement no woman wants to hear. But I got to hear it back in 2019 after finding a small wrinkle on my left breast. I was so shocked. My lobular breast cancer was missed on mammograms. It was over eight centimeters when I found it, nine months after a clear screening mammogram at the age of 43. A hallmark of lobular breast cancer is that the tumors may not form lumps. This means that it may not be found until the tumor is large, like mine was, or has spread. Please help us spread the word about this breast cancer type that needs more research. Invasive lobular carcinoma, ILC, also known as lobular breast cancer, comprises 15% of all breast cancer diagnoses. Despite this incidence, there has been a lack of attention paid to the disease and a lack of funding for scientific research. October is Breast Cancer Awareness Month worldwide. Declaring October 15th Global Lobular Breast Cancer Awareness Day will help raise worldwide awareness of this breast cancer type. Lobular breast cancer is extremely hard to detect on mammograms, especially in women with dense breast tissue or elsewhere in the body if metastasized. Lobular breast cancer is often only diagnosed once tumors are larger than two centimeters and sometimes already metastatic. It's too often the case that it's only once a woman feels symptoms and seeks more diagnostic testing and biopsies that her lobular breast cancer is finally diagnosed. And in the case of metastatic lobular breast cancer, lobular breast cancer has more troubling traits. The tumors can go to unusual parts of the body and be very hard to detect or monitor. My God, I got mammograms every year. Uh, why did they never see this? I couldn't believe I was already at stage four, a de novo diagnosis. Despite my medical background, I was shocked to learn that lobular cancer is very often missed by mammograms, as mine was. I want everyone to know about lobular breast cancer and how badly more research is needed for earlier detection and effective treatment. Uh, lobular carcinomas, greater than 80% of them, harbor alterations affecting a gene called ecadherin. Uh, CDH1. It is the very loss of ecadherin that confers the so characteristic lack of cohesion of lobular carcinoma cells that produce the so characteristic histologic appearance that we see down the microscope. I'm professional golfer Angela Stanford, and in 2009, my mom was diagnosed with invasive lobular carcinoma, a sneaky type of breast cancer that's hard to detect with standard imaging and can reoccur like it did with my mom in 2018. No one knows why this is, and it has to change. Many scientific studies have confirmed that lobular breast cancer is a distinct breast cancer type and that it behaves differently from the more common non-lobular breast cancers. But for decades, there has been a paucity of research. So while quite different, lobular breast cancer is treated the same as other non-lobular tumors. For the longest time, it was mostly ignored in research as well as in basic wet bench research as well as in clinical research. Research for ILC on ILC just requires uh, funding. The more, the better. The reason for me to believe, and firmly so, that um, research dedicated to lobular carcinoma needs to take place. It is because a one-size-fits-all does not work for patients with breast cancer. We have to be able to individualize the treatment for patients. And how can we do that if for the second most frequent type of breast cancer, we don't have many studies and a real paucity of clinical trials looking at lobular carcinoma specifically? It is critical to raise awareness of the need for more research and ensure that those diagnosed with lobular breast cancer are aware of the information that does exist about their breast cancer type. That is why scientists and patients with lobular breast cancer around the world join together to share information about lobular breast cancer and declare October 15th Global Lobular Breast Cancer Awareness Day. Please help us shine a spotlight on the 15% of all breast cancers that Lobular represents. Help us bring more attention, more research, and improved treatments to address this long-overlooked breast cancer type.